Hey there. So we're going to set up the armor for the human male here. Uh, the human male, of course, comes with some really great wardrobe, and you can use uh, the elephant half orc wardrobe as well. With the new armor pack uh, rigging to the human, we can include um, a whole bunch more armor. So I'm going to start by opening the prefab, and this is something you'd want to do after you install both the human and the armor pack. And I'm going to do a few things. First thing we're going to do is just bring the armor prefabs into um, into this hierarchy here. Let's find the armor prefabs. We're going to scroll down, find the human male ones. I'm going to select all of these prefabs and just drag them right over here. They are off a little bit. Just click here to reset that transform. So there. And that's kind of how they are on the character. But we still need to rig it to the character itself. So the first thing. Here is to select them all, right click and choose unpack prefab completely. You'll notice that each one of these has a whole bunch of meshes, sub meshes basically, and each one of those has the bone root. So to equip the characters, we're just going to take all of these out of their parent objects just temporarily. And once you've done that, come up to the parent object choose Windows. It's going to be under either Infinity PBR or SF Base Studios depending on which version you have. If you uh, have some of the other characters it might be under Infinity PBR or SF Base Studios. And click the Character Equip option. Right, so now you notice that all of these uh, objects no longer have their bones and we're all attached. So I'm going to redo what I, uh, the organization here. Just dr click these and drag them back under their parents. All right, we're not quite done yet. We need to reset the blend shapes because these uh, objects have blend shapes as well and of course have to morph with the body as well. If the body gets, grows bigger, we want the armor to grow bigger as well, for instance. So I'm going to turn on all objects um, in the character and just for these, turn those on and for the human one, make sure that everything here is turned on as well. Uh, the blend shape script, when you reset the uh, Blend shapes, everything needs to be turned on, but they don't need to be uh, directly under the parent. They can stay in their organizational uh, pattern here. So click the uh, human and go to the blend shapes manager, and we're going to go all the way to the bottom and click the reload blend shapes. Now you see we've got the new armors right here, uh, and everything else that we had will remain. All right, so the first thing I want to do is check out the uh, uh, armor 1. So I'm going to turn that on. See that it's nice and uh, rigged to the character. We can press play. Okay, so now we got the armor rigged, but as you can see there are some issues here. Um, there's some issues with the shirt, there's some issues with the sleeve here. And we're going to fix those with the blend shapes. Those are all built in to the blend shapes. So I'm going to see you do this while I'm in the play mode um, so you can see the effect live, but this is something you would usually do outside the play mode. Uh, click on the character in the blood shapes. Couple things. First, go to the shirt, which is right here, and the sleeves. And there's going to be some options here. Uh, as you can see, there's depth for armor 2 and depth for armor uh, 4. Those are going to be specific to those armors. Basically, just turn it on and it will move those down. Um, and then we also have the sleeve length, which you can adjust there, and the shirt length down there which you can't really see right now then for this the sleeves depth so we can just bring that down and that will clear that up that issue right there uh, for the most part and then we can also adjust the sleeves length bring that up a little bit and that will clear the front part as well and then we can also bring this down as well the depth for the armor so now we've got uh, the shirt completely underneath the armor and we can go a little bit further here let's go down to armor one we've got some options here as well uh, so again there's a uh, more back depth this is going to be for some of the other wardrobe for the half orc um, very specific things here uh, so if you want to use them with more options you can do so and then there's the overall depth option here. And this is just going to make it a little bit bigger and a little bit smaller. So if there's wardrobe that you're trying to use that isn't quite fitting, try using that slider. Most wardrobe options 
uh, that kind of makes sense together will fit with this. But you know, it, there's a lot of options. There's probably thousands of different options in the end. Um, so the other thing is the height here. You can adjust the height of the pauldrons and whatnot. Uh, you can change those as well. So there's a lot you can do with, with the armor. Now let's check out armor 2 here as well. We've already had the sliders down for armor 2, so everything looks good already. do want to point out, though, that uh, armor 2 has a whole lot of options here. So you can do a lot more with this by t turning these on and off. Uh, simply click it to turn it off, and you've got a slightly different look. And we also have all the different textures as well. So if you come to the armor two textures, you can, uh, you know, bring these in and mix and match the textures as well. As long as texture memory is an issue for your project, you can, you know, mix and match these so that there's maybe metal up here on the sides and um, leather on the other sides. And of course, you can create your own textures in Substance Painter as well. Here's armor three, the default texture. Again, the shirt's still tight and working with the with the armor via those blend shape sliders. And here's armor four. If you remember, there's a separate uh, depth slider for armor four. So just gonna bring that up and bring this one up as well, it looks like. And here's armor five. Again, the shirt's still tight under the, um, under the armor, even with the sleeves using the blend shapes. So there you go. The, Equipment uh, for the female would be the exact same setup, just do the exact same operations for her. And uh, you can mix and match all the different wardrobe from the two different packs and see what works for you. Get a whole bunch of different looks for your characters. Let me know what you think. Great night.